police state now, man. Every time, you know, a motherfucker can't even smoke a blunt, man, without, you know what I'm saying? We was just gathering together just to do a little video, man. It's, it's so, you know, condensed, man, where everybody's on top of each other. It's like you ain't got space to breathe, man. And the police is just standing on every corner. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not feeling that. And um, in Cali, it's like, you know, it's like weed is fucking legal. You know what I'm saying? Not that it's all about fucking weed. But, you know what I'm saying? Right? Straight, straight. straight. But, um, yeah, it's just, you know. It's just a mellow vibe, man. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like my writing process, my writing process don't change no way, no matter what state I'm in, what country I'm in. It's just, it, it come from inside of me. It don't really come from uh, the things outside of me because I've, I've become all of my experiences. So no matter where I'm at, I still, I'm still mm -hmm. the same nigga, same shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, Make just a, a left different one, one, two, five, baby. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, nothing's really different, you know, as far as the writing process, but being in a state like Cali definitely is um, it's conducive to what I do. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, even though the state is kind of shitty at times, I welcome you back, brother, you know what I mean? You wanted to... Oh, don't get it fucked up. My, I love New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, man, you, you you still carrying that torch, man, the way, the way the shit should be, you know what I'm saying? Like... And that's some real shit right there. So you know, I, I know it's always a New York state of mind, even though you out of out of town and shit. No you know doubt. I mean? Oh, you know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll hear it in the music. You could tell. <laughs> you would think I'm. Um, you would still think I'm actually recording out here, cause it's just in my blood. Big blimps, killer pimps, drug dealer science, clients, militant pen, equivalent to gunfire for hire, slugs to you. You can't stop people from making music. It's, it's, it's everybody's. It belongs to everybody. If a dude is not nice on the mic, he still, you know, if he got something to say, let him say it. So as far as I'm concerned, all the kids, the young cast is being creative. I encourage it, you know what I'm saying? But just do your history, you know what I'm saying? If you... Do your homework, you might find yourself attracted to different kinds of music, you know what I'm saying, or different kinds of hip-hop, and be inspired by it, and want to uh, do it at a high level, like, you know what I'm saying, if if you do your knowledge on, on music and hip-hop, and, you know, somebody who's really knowledgeable on the art to really give you some insight on what it's all about, maybe you'll, you know, pick up some influences from some stuff that's real nice, man, and it might inspire you if you don't have any knowledge on the music get some knowledge on the music i think it'd improve the state of hip-hop overall not just for new york you know what i'm saying just study your study your stuff i'm a fan from a dudes from all over down south you know what i'm saying like i feel like brothers from new york we need to do what they did take a page out of their book you know what i'm saying if we not popping go to the trunk you know what i'm saying or go to the trunk Pump your shit and take it to the streets, you know what I'm saying? And do what you got to do. Get your shit heard. But if you you feel like dudes from New York need to improve as far as, like, lyrically, I just want them to keep being creative and just learn, you know, learn more about it. And you'll improve. If you love it, you'll improve. Hold up, man. You know, I don't even give a fuck, man. What up? Straight up. Big, goofy-ass nigga, man. What you want to do? Nigga, I ain't, no I ain't turned down no head up. I just want to expand as far as, like, on a production level, rapping, I don't really care about, um, I don't care about your subject matter, to be honest, as long as this shit sound dope to me, that's all I give a fuck about, you be talking about sneakers, if that shit is hard, it's hard, um, so I don't really, you know, as far as your lyrics, say what's on your mind and speak from the heart, um, musically, that's where I'm trying to really expand as far as like, of course, always be a better writer, but Musically, I want to just be able to uh, become sophisticated enough with, you know, with my music knowledge to actually produce music. You know, I know it sounds crazy, but I would like to not use samples at one point in time. I'd like to be able to go in the studio with some musicians and create some shit like Funkadelic Made or some Ohio Players shit or some Barry White, Isaac Hayes type shit. I would like to um, get, you know, take my, my music, you know, to that space. That I keep in the line in the my park of the spark if I'm conspiring my departure. Uh, it's such a beautiful death. I'm a righty book and shoot with the left. I was in a session when Dilla came through and uh, was dropping off some beats and 
you know, I was I was there for um, you know, during that Anarchy album, you know what I'm saying? Buster was, Buster always worked with Dilla and he had Dilla tracks on that album, so you know, I got the opportunity to meet the brother at that time. Word. Yeah. And what was it like meeting him at that time? Just real cool brother, man. To be honest, man, he just seemed like another brother for my hood. Seemed like a, just a real genuine dude, man. I remember when I first seen him, he came to the studio and fucking with Bus. We had beats from all over, you know, everybody, you know. You know, Bus is, you know, Bus is a superstar, so Bus got A1 beats from everybody. And I always remember when we played everybody's beats, Dilla's drums was slapping everybody's drums. Like, yo, this shit was crazy. So when I seen him in the studio, first thing I said, yo, you got the best drums in the game. Word up. And he was like, word, thanks, fam. And I was like, yeah, seriously. Me and Bus tried to shake him down for the secret in the studio. He just said it was just good samples, good good snare choices off records. We didn't believe him. But, you know, that was my that was my experience in meeting him, though. Good brother. Oh, check it out. Oh. Diamonds on my neck, chrome drop top, chilling on the scene, smoking pounds of green. It's a beat we did. Um, it was the beat that Biggie spit uh, his original verse on, that they end up using for his life after death shit. You know, where he was like diamonds on my neck, chrome drop top, chilling in the scene with the gangster lean. That shit, that was originally on a Dilla beat. So Biggie had a, a beat, a uh, verse on a Dilla beat. And um, when um, you know, of, of course after Big's passing, you know they wanted to put out another album. Bus had the vocal. So he took the vocal off, you know what I'm saying, and you know, let let Puff and the music for the uh, for the project, you know what I'm saying, in honor of him. And um, Knotts end up doing that beat, and we end up jumping on the Dilla beat, yeah. And that was that, you know what I'm saying. Oh man, word. Niggas already know the motherfucking resume straight up and down, man. Ride this shit. Terry Sav, nigga. Hempstead, motherfucker, hell I stand the fuck up Moss, nigga, yeah Fuck them niggas know about it Nothing, yeah Faggot, uh-huh Wish I would I catch one of you niggas, man Y'all niggas know, man Pussy niggas, man Yeah Disgusted Yeah, huh I got Lamborghini dreams, Nissan nightmares Moving white, my ice cool as the night air Two fives flare, a glare through your Cartier eyewear To knock your newborn out of the high chair Divide and tear, slice and bite a hair like pear They pray I share fruit that I bear I get nectarine in the beam, my steam a whole 17 Brolic chain chunk, cheddar cheese, spray up chunks Text jam like heavy D With tip, you know what I'm saying? What more can you say, man? The low end theory, <laughs> Midnight Marauders He's there to give, um... I'm a minimalist, you know what I'm saying, you know, in a lot of people's opinions when it comes to music, so a lot of people probably want my music to have more bass and power and stuff like that, because I rock over a naked sample, and I'm good money, I don't, you know, I love it, but it could go, my music could go to another, another level, you know what I'm saying, with that extra, you know, with those extra frequencies, and Tip is there to just make sure my shit is on a higher level, you know what I'm saying, so his expertise is being added to um, to what I'm doing to just make it, you know, to make the package more full, you know what I'm saying? If I got a sample that's, it's all already crazy, but he's like, yo, man, we can't hit a bass, man, lift that bass up. If they're gonna, they'll go find the right bass tones and, and give it that body that it needs. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's giving the music a little more push, because me, I'm like, once I... I sample it and I write to it, I spit it, I'm, you know, I'm cool with that, you know what I'm saying? People want more bass and, yo, you think you could have added more on the snare or whatever? I ain't tripping if it ain't bothering me, you know what I'm saying? But then when you working with a brother like Q-Tip, <clears throat> who's so meticulous and a perfectionist, you, you get to learning that his input is actually those little things are making something that was probably already great greater and that's what i'm getting out of working with q-tip i'm i'm learning i'm and as far as working with q-tip i feel like a production amateur i'm getting really taught like you know what i'm saying i'm really getting taught how to produce records right now so working with q-tip is 
much. You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's pimpish. Pass the Mac 10 to my apprentice. While I get a pen and pad to print this. This slide nine inches in your empress with the quickness. It ran through swifter than wind sprints. You a byproduct. The guys that grind and buy product. Black cars lie inside Prada wallets. Black cars glide like flying carpets. The 40 lay you out like a starfish. I'm doing God's work in the booth. This was a lost wish. I put a skirt on the coupe. Squirt 30 tools that'll burn your soup. Oh, fuck it, baby. It's just more current, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just me evolving constantly, like I was saying, improving. So, I feel like I'm getting better every day, you know what I'm saying? So, I think people are just going to dig the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the music is getting better. And, you know, it's getting to a point where I don't do it as a hobby no more. I can do it professionally. I've been doing it professionally, but even when, you know, I was doing it, a lot more than I, I was doing it for maybe a couple of years. I wasn't really pushing hard at rap like that. You know. I'm pushing more at it and getting better at it. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, the more you work at something, you get better at it. So I think people are just going to hit improvement. And, you know, that's what I that's all I want from the fans to see that I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? I want them to see that I'm serious about my music. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't want to um, act like... Yo, um, I got it all figured out. It can't get no better. I just want to continue to improve and, you know, make great music, man. So hopefully they just, you know, accept it for what it is. You know, I just want to make the record as good as possible. So it's really that, you know what I'm saying? When I go in there, the goal is to um, not stink it the fuck up. Be a professional, you know what I'm saying? I worry don't sell niggas weak, weak drugs, man. Keep the potency strong. Uh. Yeah. Marston. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Me and Metal Clergy. Metal Clergy, which is me and my man Kai. Um, you know, he just put his shit out, Grief Pedigree. Shit is amazing. Um Reloaded, of course. Um, my production album where I'm producing an album with me featuring all my favorite artists, you know what I'm saying, in the game. Um, uh, what else? My Arch Druids project, of course. Score Turf Policy, that shit is coming out like amazing. Um, just a lot of music, man. Just I want to like really just I want to do everything that I possibly can, like you know what I'm saying, to just try to um. Enhance what I'm doing, man, and you know, just have some fun. Or accentuate, you insinuate. I oh, sip the grapes and split the steak. You shave a snowflake off the cake. Walk straight. I'm you know, only. improve on my art, man, and this is what I'm giving to the people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be a um a productive member of society. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. I do music, so I'm trying to bring the best music that I could give, you know what I'm saying? And the support is appreciated. That's that. Yeah, what up? This is Rock Marcy shouting out Out the Box TV. Let's get this paper, baby. Still get my feet wet. Steady hand, sniper aim, a white flame, microwave the game, viper gray, light a J in the stairway. My lady laying can made, my jewelry is handmade, my tears are champagne. I whip the range in the rain in Spain, the shift in the rib cage, lift the gauge, similar to Nick Cage, great. I persuade and sway, talk slick and silk Seduce the kitten with the milk without guilt Your milk milked up in the Vanderbilt I killed it on the quilt, my wrist looked chilled uh.